Hello everyone and welcome back to New Beginnings with me, Tom B92. Last episode we built this beautiful docks and an automatic wall farm up on the hill. But today we kill the dragon. In between episodes I was a fearsome warrior battling the Enderman in the Nether. And I got all my eyes of Ender. I've got a more powerful bow and all we need to do now is gather up our final resources and we're ready to beat the dragon. So since battling the Enderman in the Nether I went back and got a few more so we've got enough Ender chest. We have a load of scaffolding because I believe the Enderman can't pull them down. We have all our eyes of Ender and now we need to go and find the stronghold. Back outside of our house we need to yeah, throw our first Ender, well we've got eyes of Ender and we need to see where it goes. So let's go. Oh, uh, oh that way. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, this could be a long trip. So. so I think we're near, but it's a very difficult place because we're in a very dense jungle. I've lost a couple around here and they've gone back and forth. So let's just see where this one goes and I'll probably lose sight of this one as well. So, uh, it sounded like it came from over there. I lost it. <laughs> hey, we found it. It took us a very long time, a very, very long time, more than I care to admit, but we just decided to dig straight down and it worked. So now we need to figure out where the portal room is. I also want to try and get us linked in here automatically. So I'll probably I need to head back to base, but I want to try and put a portal together. I never understand what these rooms are for. I think they were supposed to be like where a villager was kept or something like that. And I don't think they ever actually ended up programming it into the game a bit weird but and i don't really need anything there so let's keep adventuring there's a zombie over here so there's gotta be another room this way yep how would we have got here there's not been a single door that went to the right is this the same library no that's a different library so there's two libraries in this place I can hear lava again. There it is. We found it. Finally found it. Our portal room. And we need to take I can take out the silverfish before they become a problem. So let's deal with them now. Alright, that's all of them dealt with. Completely empty ender portal, but we can make a portal back into the nether. Head home. And whilst I do sort that out, whilst I travel around in the nether, let me show you a couple of things I've been up to when I've been busy. I've built myself a little micro farm and I've built myself a tiny little shed, which I, oh, let me now, disrupt, don't disrupt me skeleton. I'm trying to talk to my audience here. But yeah, I've made a nice little build and let me show you that whilst I'm busy working my way back to our base. So down here with our automatic farms that we built in earlier episodes, we have been busy and we've expanded. We've managed to sort ourselves out lava farm, which is super simple, you know, dripstone into a cauldron. And we're now all, that'll be really handy when we get ourselves a super smelter in the future. Uh, we've got some cactus growing, nothing special there. Just manually pop off. And this is what we've been working on. This is our micro crop farm, nano crop farm, uh, many names for it. And it's really, really simple and it's super effective just run through the back here simple mechanism in the back here there's three dispensers going into a piece of tilled dirt in the middle here and all that happens is that we trigger it all of these will dispense their bone meal on whatever i've got growing it will work with all our crops you can see i've done a little bit here and i'll just show you how it works so Really cool feature with this this build is that the piston here triggers and when it does trigger it turns the, the tilled dirt into darkness and when it is dark the crops will pop off. It's just a feature within Minecraft and this takes advantage of that. So all you need to do is come close up to it. You can see the tilled dirt down here. So all I'm going to do is put my crops down here or my carrots and there you go. You can see it happening straight away. That stack is building indefinitely. I've now got stacking going on in number two. And it's super quick and it's brilliant because I've been doing a lot of manual farming and that's gonna save me all that time. Don't need to go around breaking all the crops up. And it's just, yeah, just it's just a great time saver. And something in future I think I'll be definitely building quicker and earlier in my playthrough. And then out here, we've just put together a really simple build and it looks like a mismatch, right? 
there's that's and that is the whole point of it is just a lot of different blocks to try and bring together just a little hut so all i wanted was just like a little hut a little shed and it was meant to be messy it was meant to look messy so we've got a real mismatch of blocks and all it is is my entrance to my mines so there's four different levels that i use and they're all going down to those different areas and then uh, an aqua tunnel coming all the way back up and um, honestly I'm, <laughs> i am quite happy with it it kind of finishes this area there's quite a big area here that was uh, i guess a bit dead there was nothing really here so finishing it off with a little build and i can try and blend this into our starter base up here so back here in the in the stronghold we've hooked ourselves up into the nether which gives us great ease of access back home We've managed to get ourselves a little spore point, which we'll use if anything happens to us on the other side. And we have a few more uh, materials together. I've brought some cobblestone just in case my theory about scaffolding goes wrong. I've got an ender chest, which I'm gonna put down when we get on the other side. And I have myself a carved pumpkin, so I don't look into the eyes of an enderman. And one last thing I want to do is get rid of this overlay. Much better. Now, I've still got a pumpkin on my head, but I don't have the view over. And that's just a simple resource pack from Vanilla Tweaks, but that's, that's gonna be very helpful because it's gonna be pretty annoying. It's gonna be loud. I honestly have no idea how this is gonna go. I believe the dragon is a little harder than it is in Bedrock. So that could be, you know, could be fun. Boop, 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 boop. And it was actually a good idea that we went home because I didn't have enough eyes of ender. So this should now light up our portal and we're going to go and take on the dragon. Uh, what? 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 Oh, for me now, it scared the life out of me. Good job I did bring some blocks because we are off the edge. And now for a time lapse of me beating the dragon. It's been so long since I've beat the Ender Dragon. Yeah, gather all that XP. The egg can stay there for another day because that is it for today's episode. I want to thank you all for watching today's episode where we've managed to beat the dragon. We've built a couple of small little builds 
and we've had another great episode. Thank you again. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time.